Hello, and welcome to this complete guide to Hermod, the Spirit of War. The Spirit of War is a phantom lieutenant from the God Wars era. This boss is the first in the line of necromancy-themed bosses that was released on August 7th, 2023. It was designed with a similar skill level to the God Wars 1 bosses, but with a little bit more life points and a very few simple mechanics. Hermod drops the untradeable Hermotic plates, which are used to upgrade your necromancy armor into power gear, as well as the animated drumsticks used to complete that old black magic quest. Hermod can be accessed and defeated after completion of the Spirit of War quest, which requires 3,000 Vessel Souls and level 65 necromancy. He's classed as undead, so the salve amulet and related bonuses work, and are extremely beneficial. That said, he's designed to be a mid-level boss, and he can be defeated even at level 65 necromancy, which is the minimum requirement without the best gear. Hermod has 200,000 life points and can be poisoned and stunned. But when you're picking a combat style, the decision is going to be very easy, because he can only be damaged with necromancy. The first mechanic is the melee slam. He will swing the sword back and slam it on the ground where your character is standing. You have two options for this one. If you're lower level in necromancy, I would recommend running around him to avoid taking damage. Whenever he swings his sword back, just move a couple tiles and you'll avoid it completely. If you're on the higher end, you can just tank it and not move at all, and it does not hit that hard, between 1 and 2,000 damage. The second special attack is a Conjure. He summons two armored phantoms that each have a few thousand life points, and you have to kill them before you can resume attacking Hermod and dealing damage to him. There are several good ways to deal with these phantoms, but my recommendation is either to use Soul Scythe, the Command Zombie Explosion, or Threads of Fate into Finger of Death. This is a full Hermod kill with a lower level setup. As you can see, I'm electing to tank a lot of his mechanics, and just with Soul Split, I'm sustaining pretty well. He'll continue the same two mechanics over and over again until he falls over into a heap. Once you've done the 200,000 damage you need to, he'll collapse, and on this day, you won. If you're further along your necromancy path, here's a faster rotation to get you kills between 10 and 20 seconds every single time. You're going to use Living Death at War's Crystal, and then click on the crystal again to go back up to Full Adrenaline. Once you're Full Adrenaline, you're going to conjure all three of your conjures, the Skeleton, the Ghost, and the Zombie. While you're running into the instance as you go through the portal, you're going to command the Skeleton and the Ghost. And then once you're in the room, you're going to apply a Death Mark right before the boss spawns. Once you've done that, the rotation is extremely simple. You're going to use Death Skulls, Death Grasp, which is the special attack on your lantern. You're going to use Touch of Death, Finger of Death, and then if you Adrenaline Potion, you can Finger of Death a second time back to back. If this all goes well, you will instantly die. Thank you all so much for watching this guide. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome necromancy content.